Nine for 80. Um, we really caught the game up, didn't we, after that frustration of losing the first day. Um, where do you see this? Games seated now. I think as long as the weather plays its part, I know that there's still some rain around tomorrow. We obviously can't control that, but I think um, as it showed tonight, when there was a bit of sort of moisture on the surface, it didn't grip as much. Um, so we're going to have our work cut out for us. I think we're going to have periods of play, but we just need to make sure that we're on the park. We get the ball in the right area. Um, but yeah, we need nine wickets, nine balls, it can happen pretty quickly as it normally does at Chelmsford. So once you sort of break a partnership, um, I think it's quite difficult for new batters to come in. And I think the sort of break tonight has come at a good time for us because the batters need to start again in the morning. Is it getting frustrating keep taking nine for this, without getting that ten? <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, like at the end of the day, we haven't won too many games this season. so. I think the biggest thing is for us to get this over the line. Um, pointless taking nine wickets if it ends in a draw um, or if you're losing a game of cricket. So um, it's nice to take wickets in a winning contribution and hopefully we can sort of put it together tomorrow. You said about the pitch out there. I think it's right to say, isn't it? There weren't any particularly vagaries in the pitch, was there? I mean, it was outstanding bowling rather than a particularly helpful pitch, which Sometimes I think people who aren't here look at the uh, bowling returns from here, look at Taunton as well, and think, oh, they're prepared to pitch for the spinner. That isn't true, is it, at all? Yeah, I think if you look at our first innings, they won the toss, they chose to bowl. I mean, the wicket was green, it then sat under the covers for an entire day. Um, so there was def there's definitely something there for the seamers, um, and there's definitely something there for the spinners. Um, I mean, Dan Lawrence played an unbelievable knock, as did Tom Wesley, as did Nick Brown, as did Alistair Cook. So, if you look at it holistically, it's been a really good four-day wicket. There's a little bit of everything if you do your discipline well. So, um, I think Chelmsford does produce good four-day wickets. Very seldom do you get a poor wicket at Chelmsford. I think um, if you play well here, there's always something in it for you. So. Um, I obviously love playing here, the ball always turns and, and bounces and there's always something in it for me to keep me interested. I think your last six wickets came in six uh, successive overs, one in each of those. Um, is it a matter of once you get that breakthrough and then get another wicket very quickly, do you sense that you've got inside the, the minds of uh, the next batsman and there's that doubt that lingers, do you see any different in their, difference in their approach? Um, yeah, I think obviously sitting, watching and then walking to the wicket, um, I just need to make sure that I get the ball in the right area. We obviously try our best to create theatre around the bat. Um, we've got an excellent short leg in, in Ryan Tenderscarter, a very brave short leg. He doesn't let too much go past him. He took a magnificent catch today, which helps a lot. Um, it's very easy for the batter to get off strike and then you're bowling to the in batter or a different batter whereas if you can keep somebody on strike it helps a lot and little things like that sort of do add together to everything to the sort of Essex package if you can put it like that so um, probably a, an unsung hero and it's a thankless job but he, he does it extremely well and um, he never flinches when he gets hit um, so yeah I think all of those little things uh, for a new batter to come in makes it sort of that much more difficult. You mentioning outstanding catches, two outstanding catches by you off your own bowling. Um, I mean, it, when you when you're bowling, is that possibly the least type of dismissal you're expecting? A caught and bowled, uh, you're bowling to a well set field, you're looking for LBWs, the bowlers, uh, but they came back at you like bullets, didn't they? Um, the one off Critchley wasn't um, very quick, but. Um, the one with Melton, I think, was more self-preservation than <laughs> um, probably for me and Ian Blackwell, the umpire. Um, but yeah, it's probably something, if I'm honest with myself, that I feel like I probably haven't been as good as I want to be. Um, I pride myself on my feel fielding and if you can be good off your own bowling, it also adds a little bit of pressure um, to not allow the batter to sort of get off the mark or hit a boundary straight down the ground if you can cut those off. So. Um, it's always nice to take catches off your own bowling, um, but
but I think I need to be better. Rather self-critical, I think. I don't think the uh, I don't think the figures would support that. But talking of figures, um, are you a targets man? Are you a figures man? You're always looking to surpass what you achieved the previous season. Um, and if so, are you on target of where you want to be so far this season? I think the biggest thing with cricket is a performance performance-based sport. You're going to have days that you do well, and and you're going to have days where you don't do well. And I mean, we've had a few games where I haven't taken any wickets and cricket's the type of game that when it's your day, you need to cash in big. Like, if it's a batting wicket, you can't get 50, you need to get 150, do you know what I mean? And if it's turning and there's something there for me, I need to get big wicket hauls. I need to get six, seven, eight fists, nine fists, do you know what I mean? Because you never know when the next wicket's going to come or if the pitch is going to play the same like it was this evening. It was. A different wicket. It wasn't turning nearly as much. Um, so yeah, I just I feel that whenever it's your day, you need to make sure that you cash in, uh, which I felt like I did today. Um, but yeah, I'm not much of a, a target man. That's more of like a reflective thing at the end of the season. Um, like you know, I've got my my goals that I that I want to achieve, but it's not something that I consciously look to tick off during the season. I know what I want to get to by the end of the season, but. Um, in between that, it's just making sure that I'm doing the same things over and over again, getting the ball in the right area, um, and ticking off those sort of processes, so to speak. A bit cliche, but it is. If I focus on my process, the outcome will be more consistent, whereas if I'm trying to take five wicket hauls, then I think you can get a bit caught up in that, as do batters with trying to score hundreds, I think. If you're looking to tick it off in 10 run sort of increments, it's the same with, with bowling. If you're getting balls in the right area, then you're giving yourself a good chance. Yeah, so more case of no matter what figures, what, how many wickets you take, provided they've all contributed towards their six winning titles, that's, that's enough, is it? Yeah, exactly. If I'm taking 100 wickets but we don't win a trophy, yeah. it's not going to be as sweet as if I take 70 wickets and yeah. we, we win two trophies. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll definitely take trophies over wickets. One thing you should mention before we, we go, um, you're saying about your bowling and your fielding, your batting um, also deserves mention as well, isn't it? You're a couple of very, very useful innings you've had recently. Is that something you work hard on in the nets on? Yeah, I'll probably overthink my batting. Um, I just need to try and keep it simple, but I'm a very logical thinker and there's always a reason that something's happening which Sometimes you just get a good ball, but for me, I struggle to just accept that. So something that I fight with uh, Tom Huggins quite a lot, because I always want answers and there's not always an answer. So yeah, I love scoring runs, as I'm sure batters love taking wickets, bowlers love scoring runs. So um, you're sort of never happy with what you got. Um, but yeah, I think again, when I've managed to get in, I've managed to score runs. And when I've got my pad blown off in the first few balls, then I think I just need to accept that. <laughs>